Welcome to the Stray Tech tutorial presented by SD Group. Today we'll be discussing the configuration of LTE Wingles with Draytech routers. The main difference between a regular dongle configuration and an LTE Wingle config is that your USB port needs to be configured for DHCP mode for LTE instead of PPP mode for regular 3G dongles. In order to configure our LTE Wingle in DHCP mode, we first log into our Draytech router, then head over to WAN and General Setup. Ensure that either WAN 3 or WAN 4 is enabled, WAN 3 being the top USB port, WAN 4 being the bottom USB port on your Draytech router. For us, we have our LTE Wingle plugged into WAN 3, so we make sure that it's enabled, which it is. We can give it an optional display name, and then set its preferences in terms of active mode, whether it's a failover connection for WAN 1, or always on, load balanced or not. We've configured ours for failover so that if our DSL connection goes offline, our LTE Wingle will come online automatically. Once the USB WAN is configured, we can press OK and we'll be asked to reboot the router. After reboot, we log back in and head over to WAN Internet Access. Here, since our LTE Wingle is plugged into WAN 3, we set WAN 3 to 3G USB modem DHCP mode and go to the details page. On the details page we enable DHCP mode, input any PIN that may be on the SIM card, we set our network mode to either all or just 4G, 3G or 2G and then we input the APN name that we need to use. At this point, depending on the Wingle used, one may need to input the APN into the Wingle's web UI. If not, we can just move back to the dashboard. We can now see after unplugging the DSL cable that WAN 3 is online, indicated under Internet Access on the dashboard, where WAN 3 is now green. Thank you for watching this Stray Tech tutorial presented by SD Group.